In this training module, you'll be learning how to drive this BR103.1 electric locomotive. When you're ready to begin, climb the board. <whistles> Sit in the driver's seat. For this introduction, you'll be driving the train a short distance and performing passenger operations. This locomotive requires the reverser handle to be inserted before operation. Set the reverser to the neutral setting while we take over this cow. Set the headlights to indicate that this train is operational. Unlock the brakes with the brake key to allow braking to be controlled from this cab. This locomotive has two types of brakes. You'll be using the driver's brake, which controls brakes on the entire formation. If you were running as a light locomotive, you would use the direct brake, which is quicker to apply, but only performs braking on the locomotive. Open the passenger doors to allow boarding. Close the doors before departure. The reverser controls the direction of travel. Now we're ready to depart, set it to the forward position. For faster acceleration, the transformer switch can be used. This supplies the traction motors with an additional 100 volts each, increasing power output. To avoid damage to the locomotive, it should not be used for more than two minutes or on trains with more than eight coaches. If too much power is applied, the MCB may trip. If this happens, set the tap changer to zero and close the MCB to recover the locomotive. Release the brakes and depart the station. The large wheel in the center of the desk is the tap changer, which controls power delivery in the locomotive. Set the tap changer to the power index you need and the traction motors will gradually apply the set power. The currently selected tap is shown on the dashboard. Before we can start braking, the tap changer needs to be set back to zero. If you do not, braking will cause a traction lockout. The first DBBR103.1 entered service in 1970. It was designed for DB's new intercity system, so had to be capable of pulling a 400 ton train at 200 kilometers per hour. These initial intercity services were first class only. Second class carriages were added later in 1979 and resulted in a large increase in popularity and demand. The addition of second class coaches increased the weight of the trains to over 600 tons on already challenging routes. The BR103.1 proved capable though as its power output of 7,440 kilowatts, 9,980 horsepower, makes it one of the most powerful electric locomotives ever produced. 
Four prototype and 145 production BR-103s were produced, and until 1987 it had a near monopoly on fast passenger services with speeds above 160 km per hour in Germany. It was not uncommon for individual locomotives to cover in excess of 1,000 km a day. In 1985, a BR-103 set a new speed record for a German train, reaching 283 km per hour, that's 176 miles per hour. Approaching the station, begin applying a small amount of braking force using the driver's brake valve to bring the train to a gentle stop. Good work. That concludes all the basics of operating this train.